Hey baseball fans, how's it going? Hayden here, and in today's video, I will be going over my general predictions for Pete Alonso going in to the 2021 season. So, let's stop wasting any time, and let's get right into it. So, jumping right into today's video, I would like to start off by saying how well the Mets front office have worked so far to build this team around its young core, including the one and only Pete Alonso. Us Mets fans are super thrilled to see a full season being played in 2021. However, it's not just the fans that are excited for the season. We could also include the fan favorite, all-star slugger, first baseman, Pete Alonso, a.k.a. the polar bear himself. Pete Alonso has already made history for the team. His 2019 rookie year was absolutely superb, winning the NL Rookie of the Year, all-star, home run derby champion, and first all-MLB team, and his stats just proved it. Looking into Alonzo's stats, Pete Alonzo had a batting average of 260, an OPS of 941, slugging percent of 583, 155 hits, 30 doubles, 53 homers, in which he got the home run rookie record beating Aaron Judge at 52, 120 RBIs, and 597 at bats and also having a WRC plus of 133 in 970 plate appearances. However, the 60 game season didn't treat Pete Alonso super well, in which he batted 230, having an OPS of 817, slugging percent of 490, 48 hits, 6 doubles, 16 home runs, 35 RBIs, and 208 at bats. We could also take a look at his pros, in which he did increase in the top 20% of MLB hitters in one key metric barrel percentage, as well as hard hit rate, exit velocity, and expected slugging percentage. Plus, Alonzo hit 16 homers, so add that to a full season of 162 games, and that's a solid 45-46 homers there roughly, so, you know, we can't bum him on that. The biggest reason for Alonzo's slump, well, it barely was a season. 60 games, you can't judge a guy off of that. Plus, I can't blame the guy for all the unknown questions and semantics for the whole season really had an effect on a lot of the players, such as starts and stops and little time to prepare for the summer camp, and a lot of COVID precautions and many more issues were to blame. A mental piece took a big effect on a lot of these guys, including the 2018 NL MVP Christian Yelich, who also had a negative season, as well as Chris Bryant. So should we give up on those guys? Absolutely not. Now jumping into Pete Alonso in 2021, I think the future looks bright and shiny for the polar bear. Stat-wise, I think Pete Alonso will destroy baseballs. He will obliterate them. I predict he'll have a batting average of 257, an OPS of 863, a slugging percent of 522, 45 home runs, 111 RBIs, and 558 at-bats. My second prediction for today's list is that I predict Pete Alonso will be a participant for the All-Star Game, representing the New York Mets in the National League, and a home run derby participant taking place in Atlanta. I don't personally believe Pete Alonso will be a starter for first base in the All-Star Game, but I think he'll be an alternate and will get at least a bat or two. I predict Pete Alonso will also be in the home run derby, as I per stated. I predict Pete Alonso will have at least 24 home runs by July. Whether he wins the home run derby is a whole other story, but who wouldn't want to see the polar bear rake 400-foot homers at SunTrust Park? Third up, I have Pete Alonso possibly batting in the third hole in the batting order. Why not? There are multiple factors that go into him having a 231 batting average last year. So if he bats how he did in 2019, around the 250 plus mark, I'd say go for it with Alonzo. Combining his power, Alonzo will be viewed as a big threat to rile up the game early. Pete Alonzo has a bright future ahead. The young stud who already holds MLB records has a lot of work to do. Alonzo is safe back to provide the manager with satisfactory number stats and particularly helping the Mets beam up that batting order with the additions of all-star Francisco Lindor and catcher James McCann and as well numerous other pitchers joining the team. With the current ADP of 60.24, Alonzo is approximately being drafted as the fifth or sixth 
first baseman off the board in my eyes. With his hitting combined by his power, Alonzo will be viewed as a big threat, just like in 2019. To put overall things into perspective, I think Pete Alonso will have a great 2021 season and show the great Mets fans what he's here to help achieve. Alrighty, and that is the end of this video. Please make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And please feel free to let me know in the comments, baseball fans, what are your predictions for Pete Alonso? How do you think he'll perform? Do you agree with some of my predictions? Till next time, baseball fans, thanks for watching, and see ya. Double header today. L F G M. Let's go.